In this Blender video, we're working with Blender 2.60, and we're going to be looking at the quick smoke feature. So we're not going to go into detail on making real, realistic looking smoke. There's a lot that you can do with textures uh, to create that, but I'm going to show you how to just create a very quick basic smoke element using the quick smoke uh, feature. So I'm just going to delete default cube and then add in a UV sphere. And then I'm going to hit spacebar and I'm going to type in smoke. And you can see quick smoke comes up. I'm going to hit enter. Voila, we have created a um, domain object and our add particles to our original sphere object for making smoke. I'm going to go in my camera view here. I'm going to move my camera up a little bit since the smoke by default will be moving up. And if I hit Alt A, you can see it start to generate some particles of smoke moving on up and being limited to our domain cube object that was created when we ran our quick uh, smoke uh, feature here. So now uh, I hit escape and now that these keys have been generated or keyframes have been generated I'm gonna hit right arrow to move to a point that I like I'm gonna hit F12 to see what it looks like. There we have a cloud of smoke with a gray background. Um, we're gonna definitely change the background to make that more visible and, but let's say we want to and I'm not gonna get into detail too much detail on uh, you know, changing the texture of the smoke, which can change the look and feel of it completely. But uh, just to show you, the texture of the smoke and the material of the smoke is based on the domain object. That can be confusing since the smoke is coming off the sphere, but the smoke is actually the domain object. The sphere is just the where the smoke is coming from. Um, so with the cube object, the domain object uh, selected, we're going to now go to our materials here and uh, to make, I just want to make the smoke a little bit whiter because once again if we render that out it's a very gray dark smoke uh, and I'm just going to basically change the admission right here I'm going to change it to 0.3 and see how that looks we'll hit F12 there and now we have more of a white smoke um, you know there's a lot you can do once again with lighting and the, the materials and stuff like that and if we go over here to our particle settings um, well physics settings for the domain uh, then if we want to edit the smoke uh, we have particle settings and physics settings here that we can play with as well so you can change like the the gravity so if you want the smoke to kind of fall down rather than go up or if you want it to show the emit objects so right now the sphere does not render but if we click this it will render um, so a lot a lot a lot of options we're playing with but the point of this tutorial is show the feature that allows you to within like three clicks not even uh, create a smoke smoky environment so I want to thank you for watching please visit filmsbychris.com that's Chris the K there's a link in the description I've got a lot more blender tutorials coming at you with blender 2.6 have a great day